Our next two presenters not only wrote and directed the upcoming movie, 21 and Over, but they also wrote the screenplay for The Hangover, the massive hit, which finally proved to Hollywood that broad comedies about wacky guys having misadventures could find an audience. <laughs> Please welcome John Lucas and Scott Moore. Hey there, we've been asked to present a very special award tonight. This year's recipient, chosen unanimously by the board, is our great friend and former boss, Dan Petrie Jr. That's right. Nice, yeah. Clap it up. Uh, that's right, Tony Kushner got Spielberg, Dan gets the assholes who wrote the change up. Uh, that's a really great honor for you. A Writers Guild member since 1984, Dan's first produced script was nominated for an Oscar and there are lots of other reasons to hate him. He's a respected producer, director, and has somehow found enough time during the past 25 years to be a passionate advocate of writers. Dan has served two terms as Rose Guild president and three terms as vice president, which means he either really loves writers or he really fucking hates himself. <laughs> Dan is currently the Writers Guild Foundation's vice president of programs. He has served on the foundation's board of directors and as a member of nearly a dozen WGA committees over the past three decades. He has given more to the Guild and to all of us here tonight than most of us will ever know. The most frustrating part about Dan, however, is that despite his amazing history of service and his incredible body of work, he has somehow remained a genuinely good person. And I can say that with some authority because I used to be Dan's assistant. I listened in on all his phone calls, which by the way, I've never told you till right now. <laughs> Uh, and I saw how he treated people, and more importantly, how he treated me, an aspiring writer with a really unfortunate ponytail. And I can say without reservation, Dan is a role model to me, both as a, as a writer and as a human being. Dan was the kind of boss who, if he busted you working on a script when you were supposed to be doing your job, he would punch up a joke instead of firing you. Yeah, he should have fired us many times. But Dan was also the kind of boss who, when he had his poker games with his friends, would invite you along and make you feel every bit as important as the A-listers sitting around the table. He would also take all your money, which is probably why I was there, but whatever, it was a kind gesture and I appreciate it. For his kindness, his service, and his passionate commitment to his fellow writers, we are so proud to present the 2013 Morgan Cox Award for Guild Service to our friend, Dan Petrie, Jr. The moral of this tale is, uh, given a choice, go with the redhead, or in my case, former redhead. Uh, thank you, John and Scott. I am so grateful to have had the opportunity to serve this guild and to be able to continue that service with the Writers Guild Foundation. Through guild service, I was able to get to know and work alongside so many writers who I admired. Admire deeply, including previous recipients of this award. People like Frank Pearson, John Furia Jr., Faye Kanan, Del Reisman, Irma Kalish, Chris Knopf, George Kurgo, Hal Cantor, and so many others. I owe thanks to them all. I'd also like to thank all the board members and officers that I worked with over the years, particularly John Wells, who served soldier, shoulder to shoulder with me during some very tumultuous times at the Guild. I would also, of course, be really in trouble if I didn't uh, acknowledge and thank my wife, Connie, who bore the brunt of all this. I'd also like to single out people who, through their example, uh, taught me the value of volunteer service to one's guilt. My late father, Daniel Petrie, and my mother, Dorothea Petrie, who is here. <laughs> Finally, I would like to thank the current board of the Guild for this award. I truly believe that I got more out of service to the Guild than the Guild got out of me, but this recognition is most welcome and deeply appreciated icing on the cake. Thank you. 